Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Captain Coach RJ. This time I will show you uh, an instrument we have on board. We call it azimuth circle or a pillarus. This instrument is commonly um, used on board to take the azimuth or the bearing of an object either it is terrestrial or celestial okay terrestrial means you can get the bearing of the vessel the lighthouse or even the island point of the island and celestial bodies like sun stars and moon very useful instrument we have on board and this is usually attached on top of the gyro repeater this is center repeater we have port and starboard repeater as we are convenient to take which side port side or starboard side as uh, a way of our practice in getting uh, bearing of celestial bodies and terrestrial objects all right and that is pillaros or azimuth circle and I'll continue to discuss a few things about gyro arrow. Okay, what are other instruments we are using in order to get the details that we need in taking the gyro arrow? All right, watch and learn, fellow mates. Okay, gyro arrow. Step number one: use peloros or azimuth circle. Take the bearing of the sun or any celestial objects like moon and stars step number two record the latitude and longitude of the position of the vessel okay and also the UTC okay the UTC you can find here say UTC universal time coordinate Here we have UTC, Universal Time Coordinate, recorded, and then record your ship's heading. If you want to double check, you proceed to the steering, gyro compass, and your magnetic compass as well there. The reflection of that magnetic compass we have digital is here okay so record it and once you all have the details you can proceed now to the nautical almanac okay so this is the almanac electronic nautical publication all right for this electronic nautical publication for today for example august 23 24 um you have to find the uh, utc here okay example and this is the gh of the sun and the declinations so these are only the details that you are going to get from the nautical almanac okay and lastly you have to use the norris nautical tables for the abc method okay abc method from table a and table b and also table C all right so these are the steps that you're going to be familiar when getting or taking a gyro error through ABC method all right 